Joel, congratulations on signing your first professional contract. How does that feel? Uh, great, yeah. Something I've uh, worked all my life uh, towards. I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to be able to be given a pro now. So hard work um, needs to continue from now. Does it sort of um, you know, make you glad for all the work that you've put in as a scholar in the last two years? Yeah, well, not just a scholar, like even before when I was at Wolves, uh, as I say, just six, I've worked and dedicated my life towards football and worked towards this moment, so I'm just so thankful to be obviously given a pro now. And I just need to make sure that I keep on working to keep the pro. So. Has that always been your number one aim since a young kid then to become a professional footballer? Uh, yeah, well, um, obviously there's ups and downs of football, like obviously things I've worked hard for me in the past, but um, since I've been here I've worked hard and um, I've always wanted to aim for this, to get a pro deal, so I'm just so happy. Obviously throughout your scholarship you were in a few squads and you, you made your debut against Bradford City last year in the Chicka Trade yeah. trophy. Um, yeah, I was so happy to be picked for that. Um, and yeah, I, I thought I played well in that game and show what I can do, but hopefully I need to keep working hard and hopefully I'll get more opportunities and show what else I can do. So. For the sports that maybe haven't seen you play in the youth team more at Bradford last season, you have your left-sided defender, left-back, left-sided centre-half. How would you describe yourself? Um, well, obviously, last year I moved from left-back to centre-back and uh, it's a lot different, but I I'd say I'm, I like to step out of the ball. Um, yeah, I like to defend. I like to do everything a defender does and just like a modern-day centre-back and step out and do that sort of stuff, so 